I would love to share with you a definition of community that I learned many, many years ago when I was working on Elko Island in the little township of Galawinku, which was being rebuilt after cyclone. I was sitting around a fire, talking to one of the elders. He gave me a really hard time, <laughs> asking me all questions that I couldn't answer, like naming the colours of our land properly, not knowing where I come from. And he said, I don't want to talk to you anymore unless you tell me a story. So I told him the story of my family. And he said, I will give you a story of what a community is. This is not secret. You have now an obligation to share this with the world. And as you know, traditional people speak with their eyes, with their hands, with their hearts. And he said this, using his hand, if you live in a place that you love, you can stand up. But the trouble is, the wind can come from any direction and blow you over. But if you live in a place that you love, with people that you love, you can walk. But the trouble is, you can walk in the wrong direction. But if you live in a place that you love, with people that you love, doing important work together, you are strong like a kangaroo. And a kangaroo cannot jump backwards. Thanks so much, Anthony. Jim, I'd like, we've got time. I'd like to invite you to offer some words, please. Very quickly. Yeah. Um, I think the future of community development is actually very clear, and I think we've seen it at this conference. The future of community development, uh, we have the leadership of so much Indigenous wisdom, so much Indigenous knowledge and practice. The future of community development does not lie with old white men like me. Uh, we're the ones who've stuffed up the world, basically. Uh, if there is to be a future for community development, it is with the uh, Indigenous people and the colonised everywhere and the oppressed everywhere who must show the alternatives that they know that people like me have ignored for too long. Um, and the role, I think, in the future for community development, for those of us who are, who are not <coughs> from those uh, groups that I, I mentioned, should be to support, to be allies, to help, and to respect the leadership that is coming. Um, I think, uh, I would say that the world of the, the white man is rapidly coming to a close. Uh, it's uh, reaching its point of crisis. Uh, we face multiple crises uh, globally. We are on the edge, if you like. And um, community development has never been more important than it is now because all the people who talk about those crises uh, tend to say if there's a future, if there's a way forward, 
it lies with community. Community development has never been more important than it is now, but it's also going to be very difficult in the coming years. Uh, we face enormous uh, pressure. We face governments that are increasingly authoritarian. Uh, we face right-wing politics uh, that is sweeping the globe. Um, we have in Australia something called a Labor government that is actually a right-wing neoliberal government. Uh, it only looks uh, not like that because the previous government was even worse, but we're not going to find the answers from those traditional uh, sources of government, of universities. What's happening in universities, I think, is, is a tragic, uh, but they have uh, actually abrogated their responsibility in leadership for the future. It lies with community. It lies with indigenous communities. It lies with the communities of the colonised everywhere. And uh, I think... Uh, we need to acknowledge that. I think in this conference we've seen that and that is what's to me really exciting. So that's what I'd say. Thank you. I promise only to be two minutes. <laughs> I just want to acknowledge um, our brothers and sisters this morning for their wonderful words of wisdom. Um, future of community development for our allies. Do your homework, listen to communities, form relationships that are enduring, not fleeting. Act, don't just extract. So often we're extracted from, and there's not a lot of acting on the information that we've shared. And be useful. What do you bring to the table? Our brothers and sisters have talked about reciprocity, in my language, that's koha. Koha is, I give something, you give something. That not, might not be today, it might not be tomorrow. It could be in my children's time. But the relationship is enduring, and that understanding that in time when I have something to give to you, that will be reciprocated in time. Can you be a mentor? Can you help to empower the communities that you're working with? What skill set can you bring? Don't come to the table with nothing. That's really bad manners. <laughs> and as our sisters also said this morning, compassion and sympathy, in our language that's aroha, to give of yourself, to help us achieve our aspirations, achieve our heart work, add to our heart, don't give us a heart attack. <laughs> um, and listening to our brother Gary and sister Shawnee this morning from Taos Boy Blue, and to our, um, to, I want to call you professors because you are a professor. Oh, this is so awesome in the, in the presence of so many Indigenous professors. Um, be, we want to be the who, the why, the what, and the how. Help us to be that. And our intellectual property, um, it's our intellectual property. Look after it. Be grateful for, the, for us sharing that with you. Also, um, be humble in how you receive that and how you share that. And finishing with, <laughs> with these great men over here. The kangaroo, I didn't know the kangaroo can't jump backwards. <laughs> I don't think the kiwi can walk backwards either. So, <laughs> so let's go together um, into the future. But it, I mean, for us as Indigenous people, we have the skills, value those skills, value the ancient knowledges, and we want to be the creators, the owners of our dreams and aspirations. Where do you fit? As our allies, where do you add value? Don't take from us. Stop the extraction, whether that's extraction from Papa Tuanuku, Mother Earth, or whether that's extraction from our culture, it needs to stop. And to me, that's the future of community development. Kia ora.